Today's episode of OMG We're Coming Over is sponsored by Wish. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh, hello, everybody. Welcome. Where does this staircase go? It leads to babies. Oh, that kind <laughs> yes. of. It leaves to Do Colleen anything. Ballinger's baby. We're in her and Eric Stockland's house. Hi, I'm Colleen Ballinger. You might know me as Miranda Sings on YouTube or Netflix or from my YouTube channel, Colleen Ballinger. And I'm so excited to have my nursery done by Joey and Kate. How much of a crazy honor is this, you guys, that Colleen and Eric are letting us decorate their nursery for their very first tiny human that they've baked together. Yeah, I feel like literally every person on the planet was tweeting about this. Was, yeah. I think it was trending, number one on trending for like four months straight. <laughs> okay, Joey's marketing genius over here, yeah. No, it it was one of our most requested ever makeovers. So obviously, we're so excited to do this, not only just for Colleen and Eric, but for you guys too. So this is gonna be so much fun, I'm so excited. Guys, if you're from Colleen's channel, welcome to the Creative Weirdo family. Yes, welcome. Um, we do a bunch of weird videos. Not They're actually not that weird, but we do a lot of videos where we make over, <laughs> make over people's homes. So it's a fun. check out so check out some other videos on our channel. Hit yeah. the subscribe button. Uh, guys, proactively thumbs up this video. Because it's just thumbs up for babies. Thumbs up for babies. <laughs> this is going to be an exciting episode. I it's going to be really cool. We have some really cool things up our sleeves. Oh, you need to put on deodorant. OK, let's go let's do go. it. Can't wait to decorate. There's so much we can make. How will it turn out? OMG, we're coming over. Open up, we're here. Okay, you're yelling like so loud. Right. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm excited. It's empty. It's empty. It's so weird to see it empty in here. Kate and Joey are here. I'm so excited. And they walk me into the room and there's nothing in it. But this is such a good size room though for a yeah. nursery, I feel like. Yeah. Especially because of the high ceilings is really yeah. nice. All right, so Colleen has a guest room next to her master bedroom that we are going to turn into her nursery because she's expecting. If you don't know that, then you need to come back to Earth and start paying attention to things because everyone knows she's pregnant. Obviously, we've already discussed your aesthetic. Mm -hmm. So my aesthetic, my feeling when I'm decorating, which is never, is very white and clean and simple. My life is really chaotic and hectic. I'm always on tour, I'm always working. So I like things to just look clean and simple. And especially for a nursery, a white, like a serene mm -hmm. color palette's really nice. You wanna come in here, you wanna relax. Right. Okay. So project nursery. Project so nursery. goal is to basically bring in a place for the baby to sleep, but to Chris, also. We talked about this. You were like, I don't really know what. I know. I did like the worst. I feel like most pregnant women are like, I want this crib. I want this stroller. I'm like, I don't know. I don't know how to do this. I've never done this before. I feel like I'm the only mom in the world who isn't like planning every single aspect of my baby nursery. So a lot of this is going to be a surprise. I have no idea what's coming. And Definitely. your husband is like a creative. Alma, Alma. Fiona. Oh, no, Fiona. Well, when Baby you, daddy. Yeah, yeah, by the time this comes out, he, I think we'll be married. So, oh, yeah. There you go. <laughs> so, okay. husband, fiance, human. Eric is my baby daddy. <laughs> He's my hubby, my man, he's my everything. And Eric is working today, he's a working actor and he's super talented, so he's not here today, but he will be here for the reveal. I'm not letting him miss that. So Eric is super artsy. Yes. He's more rustic mm -hmm. too, right? So that was what we talked about, is like the combo of your sort of serene all white color palette with then his love of yeah. like wood and things like that. He loves wood. He loves wood. Oh my God. Whoa. He will stop and pick up any wood anywhere on the street and be like, I can make something out of this. So. I love that. Yeah. Oh All right. Well, you know how we normally paint? Mm -hmm. We're going to skip that. And guess what we have? Yeah. Wood. Oh my God. <laughs> Eric's going to be so excited. <laughs> we need to make 
make sure that we have Eric's like rustic vibe in here. So we are putting up this amazing feature wall of like worn reclaimed wood, but it's a total compromise because this beautiful worn reclaimed wood is whitewashed with like a beautiful kind of like a gray tone white. So it still has that very monochromatic look to it, but obviously we're bringing in like so much texture and so much personality. So this is gonna be our center mark, right? So basically we're gonna build our chevron pattern on this. So we'll, okay. we'll start in the middle and then we'll work our way out. I thought chevron was just a gas station. So this is very surprising to me to see that it's actually like a design. And I think it's super cool. It's totally different. And I think Eric's gonna love it. I love it. And the baby won't know anything because he's a baby and he poops himself. All right, so basically what we did is we found the middle of the room and we are working our way outwards. So that way we're symmetrical in the room. If we need to trim on the edges, we can just trim on the edges once we get to them. So I just use a laser level to shoot a straight line up the middle of my room. And then we're just going to take off our first pieces and hopefully get them right because this is gonna be the foundation of the entire wall. It's gonna look messy as we start it because obviously it's not fully filled in, mm -hmm. but once it's like a cohesive Oh, he's, wall. he's redoing what I did, I messed it up. <laughs> no, I just wanna make sure we're nice and tight. Nice and flush. Okay, so. Is it tight enough? Yeah, it's, it, we'll, we'll correct it as we go. <laughs> They'll fix my <laughs> mistakes. <laughs> Okay, so the wood wall project is going really well. Joey can just like take over because I have some DIYs planned with Colleen that I definitely want to get done. And then we have to, you know, kick her out and let her go nap because she's like very, very pregnant. And I do not want to make her do too much stuff in this room. Well, you're blocking your laser. Okay, I feel like How this did you is... know where to start? <laughs> In huh? the middle, like how do you know this well, is the middle? Well, thankfully, Jolie uh, is continuing this project and finishing this project. <laughs> tape oh, you so you knew where the center was? Yeah. Okay, I thought you just eyeballed it. I was like, <laughs> that is brave. I have two DIYs that I set up downstairs for us to do Ooh, together. Okay. I feel like this is already taking shape too much, and I don't want you to see it. Like, but okay. but but take a step back. Take a step back and just. Look at it, it's gonna yeah, be so no, cool. Yeah, no, it's so cool. And I Eric's gonna it. like it, right? He's gonna flip. Cool. He's gonna love it. I'm so excited. All right, well, I'll keep working. Okay, all right, all right, come with me. All righty, bye. Good job. We have more fun plans. This is the you. last time you'll be in the room. Bye, bye room. room, until it's done. Bye. All right, I gotta go into hyperdrive here. Ugh, crap. tell you about today's sponsor, Wish. Wish is a simple and easy to use shopping app that has pretty much everything you can think of and it's a great place to discover unique items and the deals are insane because you can shop directly from the manufacturers. For this space, I need to find accessories that are fun and playful and perfect for mom and baby, so I'm going to use the Wish app to get a few things. I'm obsessed with this dinosaur onesie. It's so on theme. Okay, bibs are a must for drool and food mess. Lips pacifier, <laughs> so funny and cute. Okay, and this baby might be into DIY, so let's get this hand and foot stamping kit to start him off early. A baby monitor is essential for keeping a watchful eye. Oh my gosh, suspenders and a bow tie. <laughs> I can't, this is so cute, getting it. Okay, so that's it. I'm just gonna check out and I'm gonna get my items sent to me in the mail, which is reliable, legitimate, and provides good customer service and it's so much fun to discover the goodies. So you can go download the app and get to shopping. Now let's get back to decorating. Okay, I think we're prepped. Are you okay. ready? I'm ready, baby's ready. He's kicking me a lot right now. So really? He's, yeah, he's ready, he's, he's excited. So excited yeah, he's like over here. I don't know if he'll, he might do it for you. I'll tell you. Oh, oh that was a hard God. one. That, he kicked you so hard. <laughs> Was I was wild? not expecting that. Oh my god, that almost made me cry. That was so insane. Yeah. Oh my god. Is that cool? Oh my god. <laughs> he kicked you really hard. Wow. He was like, wow. <laughs> He's like, let's get started. <laughs>
like that. Thank that was you, so baby. Yeah, I'm honored. Really hard. Okay, so these DIYs are really fun, and Colleen emphasized to us just how important family is to her and Eric. My family is everything to me, so it's important to me that we are able to incorporate family into this room somehow. So you sent me all these pictures, and they were all a bunch of, you know, amazing shots of obviously everyone. You've got your nephews, niece here. I all mean, of them. <laughs> every, like, literally so cute. So I just got them all printed, but I did them okay. all in black and white. Like sometimes if you have a ton of photos arranged in a collage and they're all different colors, it's just kind of like too much happening. So the black and white just kind of makes them all part of the same color palette now so that even though they were taken obviously at different times in all different places, they now are all friends. And so the thought is we have three of these square frames, which okay. I'm gonna stack like in a vertical row. Okay. So the thought is we could collage the photos oh, into cute. two of them. Oh, cute. Okay. And then I printed two options from what you sent me for a center photo. Okay. I thought these oh. were so cute of you guys. <laughs> oh, yay. This is from your gender reveal. Yeah which was so special when like the, you open your eyes. And then obviously this one, I just like loved the vibe. Of <laughs> yeah, I love it too, yeah. These two pictures are both amazing. It's so hard for me to pick, but I feel like I have no choice. I have to do the one where Eric is jumping in the air, excited about this baby. Right? I like, love it, yeah. Like he's just like so playful, like Eric just yeah, jumping Yeah, I mean, I feel joy. like it has to be this one. I love I like this one too, one too, but. Okay, cool. And it's from this shoot that they did together while well, Colleen is obviously very pregnant with baby. So really it is a picture of the three of them. So this one's easy. I'm just gonna pop that in one of the frames, okay, but just cool. so that you know like the whole the whole story that's happening here. Once baby's old enough and you're like, yeah. he knows who's who, and then you can be like showing him like that's blah, 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 whatever. And I love this DIY project. There's pictures of my family all over my house. So I'm happy that that bleeds into the baby room so that he can grow up seeing these faces and getting familiar with them. That one is so cute yeah, with your I love family. That. Oh my gosh. gosh. Also, Miranda, I feel like, needs to make it in there. Yeah. <laughs> she, she's part of his legacy. I know, that's how Eric and I met, was because of Miranda. Exactly. So, yeah. That was when they found out that you were a boy. Yeah. And oh, he's gonna so watch excited. this. Yes. He's gonna watch he's this gonna someday. Yes, exactly. Oh my gosh. Hi. <laughs> Hi, baby. I don't know your name yet. I don't know your, yeah, we don't know your name. You, don't, you really don't no, know No, it's so, it's so hard to name a human. I like, mean. Like, that's a big responsibility. That is, yeah, I, I like, don't that's gonna be his you. name forever. Are you gonna wait to meet him? I, a lot of I people don't do want that. to. I wanna oh, know you want it. Because I talk to him, I'll be like, right. hey, dude, how you doing? So I wanna be able to say his name, and like, if he's giving me a hard day, I wanna be like, hey. Yeah. Knock hey, fill in the blank. Oh, Eric and his brother. Yeah, so that's his brother, Chris and Brooks. I love that. So it's really just kind of creating a map, and like I would do your layout first, and so and then stressful. we'll. Okay, so this is looking so cute. Now that the layout's all done, I'm just gonna use some strong mounting tape to get these pictures secured. But I can do that later. I'll frame them, it'll be easy. Let's move on to the next DIY. Okay, so I wanted you to obviously play around with some of the DIYs because I want you to have your hands on things that you're gonna be looking at every day in that room with baby. Yeah. So I thought to do a cloud mobile. Oh, cute. Yeah. Okay, good. So we're just gonna do some very sort of primitive, you know, shapes of clouds and then we'll mirror image it and then once we have it almost done we'll stuff in some pillow stuffing okay, so they cute. have like an actual like padded look to them. This DIY project is right up my alley to do a little craft is my favorite thing in the world so to be able to make this cute little cloud mobile for the little baby is it just it's exciting to know that I had some part in this room so when he grows up I can be like I made that cloud. <laughs> So you're due in a January. couple months. Yes, I'm due in January. Is this cloudish? That's so cute. Look, we got to made like the same vibe. Okay, cute. No, and then, yours is super cute. I'm gonna and then make I mine just double more. it? Yeah, so exactly, just double it. Okay. And are you gonna do a hospital birth? That's the plan. I'm 
We'll see. Who knows where this kid's gonna pop out. There's so much like judgment and ridicule around like having a baby, which I never knew was part of it. Everyone has other, an opinion. Everyone has an opinion of where you should deliver, what kind of delivery you should do, you know. Right. Everyone it's so has an personal, opinion. Though. So I just want him to come out and I want to be safe and I want him to be safe. Of and course. You now my first trimester I was really, really nauseous every day and could barely stand up. Oh. And then the oh, second yeah, yeah, trimester yeah. was when I was like in bad shape, <laughs> in and out of a wheelchair and um, fainting a lot and or just it was a very dramatic few months. But during that time I released my book. Right. And I went on a huge bus tour all over America. And oh, you just released your lipstick. Uh, yeah, so there's a lot happening. There's been a lot of releases. Yeah. And now you're about to I'm release. Like, I would release him the most though, like get out. You are getting <laughs> evicted. Now we're sewing them together with embroidery thread and a needle. We're getting the stitching all around the perimeter. And then we're just leaving a little opening to then put the pillow stuffing inside. Okay, so are you ready to stuff? I think I'm there. Here's so just bit. shove it on in there. Yeah. When is your nursery coming? Oh my gosh. I don't know. I ain't getting any younger. <laughs> It'll have to be at some point soon. Or someday. Or maybe I'll just have another cat. <laughs> That's always the answer. Yeah. So now that these are all nice and sealed up, we have this monofilament. You know what that is? Definitely not. <laughs> Sounds like science. <laughs> it's basically fishing wire. So this we'll use to actually hang the clouds from the mobile. So again, we have like a more airy look to it. Oh, cute. As opposed to... The white string. Exactly. All right, so Colleen and I are just gonna finish this DIY. You'll see the mobile when it's up in the baby's room. We'll tie these on and then we'll tie on a few to then hang from the ceiling. Okay. And then that's it. Then you're not allowed in the room anymore. You can go nap and... Okay, good. Whatever. whatever. All your, I'm sure you have something to edit or something. I do, so I'll perfect. go work. Okay, perfect. Colleen is gonna go edit videos, nap, whatever. We're gonna see her and Eric tomorrow because we have a lot more to do in this room. So I'm gonna go check on Joey. Bye everyone. Oh, you moved on to painting. Uh, yeah, because I wanna get these done so that we can get so the details dry. up. So they're dry, yeah, that's smart. With the wall paint, I didn't really wanna go extreme at all. We're just freshening it up. It's just like a very, very light shade of gray and those need to dry in order for us to get the decals the dinosaurs up on the wall. Over the weekend, Kate painted these really cool watercolor dinosaurs. We blew them up into giant decals and we are going to place those on the wall. I think I'm gonna just like tape them into place. So I'll... Trunk? Sure, I'll get the Grandma's trunk going trunk. so that that stain dries. I'm gonna come in here, finish this. Okay, so when we first came over to meet with Colleen and look at this room, there were a lot of random things in here. So we pretty much just cleared out the whole room. The only thing we've left in the room is this trunk that Colleen has had passed down to her from her grandmother to her mother, and now it's hers. So she said if there was a way we could work it into the final design, like she would be stoked. Colleen said she was totally cool with refinishing it. She had planned on doing it for a while. Her and Eric thought it'd be cool to refinish it, but they've just never gotten around to it. So we're gonna refinish it for them. Okay, so we have a ton of stuff left to do today. I'm gonna finish the decals. Joey's gonna work on finishing the wood wall. Good plan. Oh, good plan. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm getting the decal. Wait, so what am I doing? The trunk, grandma's trunk. Okay. <sighs> So I'm sanding the entire trunk down. The trunk is made with a wood veneer, which is just a thin piece of wood, actually. This is a cedar trunk, so it's wood underneath, but I actually like the veneer because it has a pattern to it. So I'm just gonna sand the gloss off the veneer. I'm not gonna sand too deep because I don't wanna take the veneer off. I just wanna get life off of the top. So we're gonna take this trunk and we're just gonna sand it down and we are gonna apply a pickling white stain to it. So that is going to basically put a light white finish on it. You're still gonna see the wood show through. It's gonna go great with that whitewashed barn wood that we're putting on the paneling wall. It's gonna just further bring in Colleen's desire for that calm, natural vibe in here. But it's also great because we're gonna get to reuse their family heirloom. Baby's gonna grow up with it and then maybe he'll put it in his nursery when he gets older.
All right, so these wall decals I'm so excited about. Okay, so Eric and Colleen really emphasized their love of dinosaurs when we were talking to them about the design. Apparently, Eric had dinosaurs painted on his wall when he was little, his mom's an artist. So they definitely wanted to make sure that there was some sort of dinosaur something going on in the room. Of course, we're not gonna put any decals on the wood wall because that's like its own thing, but the decals will be placed elsewhere throughout the room. And because we have to bring in furniture, we'll have to kind of cut out the pterodactyl wing around the molding. But like, I love how that looks because it kind of makes them look that much more part of like the space. Ooh, the pterodactyl. Shh. Shh. Loud. Sorry. Oh my gosh, these are so cool. I know, right? They turn out so well. So pterodactyl up there, uh -huh. right? And then this is the stegosaurus, I think. He's like coming back from like Yeah, here. so like over here. Oh, those are so cool. So cute, he's coming from the door. All right, to apply a decal, it's super simple. You just want to have some sort of squeegee device because the name of the game is getting the air bubbles out. It comes with a sticky back and then another film over the front of it. You start on one edge, you pull your backing off and you squeegee as you pull it off. And make sure there's no air bubbles in it. Once the backside is completely adhered, we are now peeling off the front of it to reveal the Stegosaurus. It's so cool, oh my gosh. Oh, 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 oh. Ah. oh. That looks so Steggy. cool. Okay, wait, let's just get this one little wrinkle over here. Oh my gosh, look how cute. And it's a sleeping Stegosaurus. It looks so cool with the, like, the way it's vectorized. Oh my gosh, these look so cool. Like, we should probably sell these. These look like something you would buy at a store. Okay, two more friends for him. Oh my gosh, you look great. <laughs> All right, we got a lot to do for the rest of the day. We still got a lot of planks to put up on that wood plank feature wall. We'll put maybe another coat of stain on the trunk, let it dry, and then tomorrow we will just finish final touches. I think we have some shelves, some big pieces of furniture we're gonna bring in. We're putting up a new epic light, and then we get to reveal it to her. All right, guys, we are back day two. You might start your day off with a cup of coffee. We start our days off with a rug cuddle. Now, this rug we are rolling out is a beautiful braided gray wool rug, and it is so mushy, you guys. Just take it from me, have my shoes off. Oh my gosh, but look at oh, how it's beautiful, so soft. right? It's so soft and rich and gray and beautiful. Well, okay, so let's just talk about this rug and how also look at the shape of the braid. Mm. What does it look like? Oh, uh, I mean, how kind good does of, that right? look? right? Like a chevron. Yeah. It looks so good. Like the high ceilings in here, they were just begging for a statement wall because it just like makes this room feel so much bigger. I mean that and then your hand painted decals look so good. I know. And that <gasps> light. It looks so cool. That's such a moment. Previously, all they had going on in this room was four recessed lights in the ceiling. We're giving them this really cool feature chandelier hanging it right in the middle of the room. It's a chandelier, of course, because it's, you know, chandelier size, but it just has a really nice sculptural look to it. It's got a black frame and then a little bit of brass. You know, we're bringing in the brass from then the brass ring that's gonna come in with the cloud mobile. We need to get the shelving up on that wall. Yeah, but I wanna place the dresser and the trunk first and then we'll get the shelving up. Crib over here, glider in the corner with ottoman, storage Your basket. Your DIY photo thing over there. Yep. Mobile there. Oh my gosh, fun things. <laughs> glider. Glider. How good do our framed pictures look? Like I just love that whole row and then the pterodactyl almost looks like he's like peering down and approving it. We installed the blackout blind. The one thing you'll notice about this room is there are no windows. The only window to the outside is actually a glass door and it is a very big glass door. We got a custom roller shade made. It's a blackout roller shade. Blocking out the light is important for baby when he's gonna sleep or nap during the day and they might wanna have it blacked out in there. So yay, roller shade. 
How good did this turn out? I know, the pickling stain is so pretty. Grandma's bench has gotten a facelift and it looks so good. It's so much more now Colleen style with that beautiful white washed look to it. Okay, so we're placing the dresser in the trunk on this wall because I want to make sure that the floating shelf is centered above these two pieces of furniture. Oh, like right here? Ish, yeah, let's see. So this is our dresser uh -huh. with changing table attachment. Right. And what's cool about this is that this is removable. So obviously this changing table is nice and secured on there. It has a pad, you can seat belt them in if they're too squirrely up there, but then they can take off the changing pad once he's out of diapers and it becomes a regular dresser. The shelf is going a little bit over the changing table, so we just have to make sure that it's nice and high up so that it's not like reachable by baby while he's getting his diaper changed and maybe flailing around or peeing in the air. <laughs> Since I wanted to make the dinosaur decals so big, like look like they're kind of in the room with you, you know, moving about the space, I also got obsessed with the idea of putting a moon in there. So you just mount it on the wall and it's like a night light and you can turn it on and make it match the phases of the real moon. And it's also a sound machine. It makes like nighttime noises, like chirping and it's just really cool. Like I want one. You got it plugged in? Yeah. Oh my Go gosh. Try it out. Okay, she's gonna love this because she wants a really comfy chair. Plus, it has a phone charger. So obviously in a nursery, one of the big things that Colleen and Eric are gonna be doing is they're gonna be nursing, cuddling, but Eric's not gonna be nursing. He will be assisting in the nursing. Colleen didn't ask for much in this space. She was kind of like, I don't know, I'm not that picky. I like all white and you know, I just really want a comfy chair. So I was like, I got you girl, comfy chair, check. This glider is so comfy. Not only is it a glider rocking situation, but it has an electronic recliner and a phone charger. That's the ultimate lazy boy right there. This is a baby napping chair. And then to top it off, in front of that, we're giving a gliding ottoman. You put your legs up and your whole world is just like here. It's just incredible. So then that's probably a good spot-ish yeah. for it so that they can lean back. Okay, so then let's get the crib in. Okay. The crib, I mean, hello, probably the most important piece of furniture in the nursery. We are bringing in this beautiful white crib. You know, it's just a pretty classic looking crib. You know what's great about this too is that it is a... Conversion. Conversion transitional. So this thing lowers, like they can have the mattress at different heights, right? As baby grows up, they lower it down. Right. And then once he's a toddler, they take off this front piece, put this here, and it becomes a toddler bed. So this will last him like probably until he's, I don't know, four or five. <laughs> Let me tell you, this is the best crib mattress money can buy. It's Why? It's organic. Wow. No off-gassing. In the corner, Kate's got these like really cool baskets. It's just another touch of that organic, earthy feel. Okay, so, but then look. Wait, there's more. Oh, what's in the box? Wait. Okay, so, and I also do have a, a smaller size too. I mean, this is like ultimate toy stowage, right? Yeah, that's super cute. It'll be a way for them to keep the neutral vibes going in here. You know, it's like toys are so colorful and hectic looking sometimes. Right. And these storage baskets have lids on them, which is so key. So all of these empty baskets will be where they can just chuck all of those toys when they've spread out all over the ground and they just want to tidy up, put a lid on it, out of sight, out of mind. Do you have a USB charger so I can plug my phone in? Joey! You don't need that. I do, I do. Our favorite mistake to make. Uh, where's that going? A layered situation. Yeah, it's not going under the furniture, that's fine. No, no, it, 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 yeah. It is. A little bit. Oops, I forgot. Okay, we usually <laughs> do this, we make this mistake where we put in the furniture and then remember that we have a rug because I forgot that I wanted to layer this fuzzy rug over the gray rug. It's just so fuzzy and so soft, and this will be perfect for tummy time for baby. You no. want to cuddle with us? No, no, yeah, let's no, no, no. Why? not invited. Why? You're invited. I'm not into that. No, <laughs> you're a creeper. You're going to have so much fun with a little drooly baby on you, getting all kinds of drool all over your head. It's going to be great. Joey's hanging the mobile. It turned out so cute. Like it's the perfect vibe for in here. And it's such a tall ceiling, like 
we needed a very long string to make sure that it could reach all the way up, but it looks so good. And I'm also creating just a fun little quote in a frame. I am baby, hear me roar. Because you know, dinosaurs and babies roar. Cause they cry sometimes. Next to the glider, I'm placing this side table. It's just like a brass base with a beautiful marble top. And inside the crib, I'm styling, you know, just for a little accent, for a fun little moment, this really cute fuzzy sloth who's like reaching up and a dinosaur. And obviously they can take those out if it's not good for sleeping, but it, they look really cute right now. Isn't this so cute? Is that for me? I know, I right? I could so rock this. Is that I fair? want this. What is this, all the wish stuff? Yeah. So all the wish stuff came. Look how cute. You need this. What is it? Why don't we bib you while you eat? Isn't what it cute? Only? Okay, so this is the baby monitor. I mean, obviously they can position it wherever they want, but I'll probably put it on the shelf. And then this is like for like hand and footprints. That's cute. Yeah, isn't that cute? So when he's first born, these are like the little ink pads and then paper to do his hand and footprints. And then a variety of color so options. Grandma's trunk is amazing because there's so much storage inside of it. Obviously for when he's a baby, opening and closing that is like a little bit of a finger risk. So that'll be for parents to open and close and store stuff in. But on top, I really want to style it as a bench because Colleen has a giant family. I'm sure there's going to be people over. So even though we're putting the glider in the corner for the parents to sit and read to baby, Colleen can nurse there. Having the bench there with like additional seating will be really nice so someone can sit on the other side of the room when they're hanging out in there. Styling the shelf is so fun. I'm just adding baby books and also some rustic wood accents as well to make sure we bring in that rustic vibe that's happening over on the wall, over onto the other side of the room. And oh my gosh, hello, this light, like this dinosaur little night light thing. It's like a miniature version of the big brontosaurus we have on the wall. Okay guys, this room is done. I'm so happy with it. I feel like we accomplished the combo of the serene, all white, kind of monochromatic vibe that Colleen loves. And then of course, bringing in the rustic and the dinosaur stuff that Eric loves. And yeah, I feel like we're ready to show them. I really hope they like it. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. I know, I'm nervous. <laughs> yeah, okay, you're good. You're good. <laughs> we, won't, we won't let the pregnant okay. lady hit a wall. Eric's here. This is my baby daddy, Eric Stocklin. I did it. <laughs> That's me. Okay, imagine what the room looked like before. One. Two. <gasps> three. Oh my oh, wow. god. Oh my god. Oh, wow. That looks so cool. Decals. In my childhood bedroom, my mom had actually painted this really awesome, my mom's a painter, uh, dinosaur mural on the wall that I had when I was a kid. So to see that for um, for our son, I don't know, it's just really awesome. It's cool. But they're also easy to remove if baby decides he's. Oh, oh wood. My God, this is right? So cool. Yeah, wood. Feel it. Get over there. Oh, that's wood. <laughs> oh my God. It just, I don't feel like I'm in my house. Like, this is You so made bizarre. that wall. I know, I'd, I'd put up some of those. Okay. Yeah, and, and look at Good job. Oh, that's made. so cute. Right? Oh my god. You did a great job on the... Uh, the mobile? Yeah. The little clouds? Yeah, you did a really good job on that. Thank you. Okay, wait for him to look up at those clouds and fall asleep, hopefully. Please sleep when you come out. Please. This, this is, is so wild. Cool. <laughs> yeah. I cannot this believe right. this Oh, is I like, love that. Yeah. This is making it like, oh, we're having a baby. <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean? It it's makes like, it like. And they're in, it's in one of those. Maybe in one of those? Yeah. Oh, God. It's like we have. This is so cute. It's like a room for like a new roommate that we haven't met yet. It's, yeah. It's, um, 
Oh yeah, my this gosh, is crazy. This looks, oh, this looks great. Right? Yeah. Does, oh, good. oh my god, that looks we so did a, good. We did a white pickling to keep that heirloom in here. It's like whites and neutrals, but also some for woods for Eric. Like there oh, was like, so a, you know, it had to be a marriage of the two. Yeah, so. two yeah. very different styles. And dinosaurs. Yeah, I love present, the dinosaurs. but not yeah. like overly. Spy camera. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a monitor. We have the we, little thing as well. We have the receiver at our house. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh and that moonlight, oh, it, cool. it changes with the actual phases of the moon. Oh, the, the God, real light. No moon. way. Yeah, so it'll be like half moon, crescent moon. Oh my gosh, I'm such a hermit crab in my house. I never know what the moon is doing because I don't like going outside. So now I can just go into my baby's room. And I'm always like, hey, you gotta see the moon. Come outside. Check and out I can the moon be like, tonight. I'll just look in the baby's nope. room. <laughs> <laughs> this is so cool. So obviously a changing table with lots of storage. Yes. And yeah. then this epic. Oh my god, this is so wild. Yeah, so this let's go. So, so we've got a comfy chair, and then this That's crib great. is also adjustable. So like Basically, you can adjust the mattress down as the baby grows, because mm -hmm. as they stand, you want it lower so they're right. not like hopping out. Check out your glider. Yeah, yeah. I see buttons, you see buttons on this. You see so a USB like, outlet. What really? is oh, happening wow. here? Because you know when you're like chilling yeah, and you're at 1%, you can, you can sit in it. Like, yeah, sit in it. Okay. Which, Ooh, how's that? It's nice. Okay. Oh my god. And, and this is like, also this is also yeah, so you can what's that a foot glider. When you and Eric are chilling in there, Eric, you can sit there. Oh yeah. And then go ahead. Press the button. Which one? The, that one, yeah. You can charge your phone in the chair, too. Oh my god, this is the fanciest yeah, thing. A USB. This is so fancy. Oh my god. So, it's like, really basically. <laughs> you're still going. But it's oh my god. Just, right? <laughs> I've never been in a chair that has, like, buttons that are mechanical and a USB port so I can charge my phone. Like, and it feels really nice. It yeah, kind of feels feel like nice. you're, like, on a cloud or something. It's I, That's a good chair. That's you feel nice. cool? You yeah, feel like a cool, cool. dad? <laughs> Look, succulents, your favorite. I love a succulent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've got, I've got a little yeah, succulent. succulent. Oh, good. Your, your artwork turned out really cute. Like the yeah. black and white collages. Oh, the collages. Oh, look at that. Oh, so there's so the family in there. Oh, that looks so good. Oh, yeah, oh, and Eric, you didn't see that. And that's the three of you. And also, I loved how, like, your pose, Eric, is kind of like the pterodactyl pose. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you guys are both sort of levitating. Oh, I Yay. love it. This is so awesome. I love is it. it. Thank it's you cozy. So much. It's awesome. perfect. It's so cute. I love this. Right. Yeah, this is it's so great. great. It's really great. And we put it on a dimmer too. So oh, nice. Can, yeah. This adjust. is amazing. I love every. I feel like I'm like discovering things as I just look around. Like the rug is so cool. Yeah, it's really mushy and just so great for tummy time. Is it You're belly time or tummy time? Tummy time. Well, now I know what. How many times? See, you're learning things about having a baby boy through the decorations of this room. Yeah, now I'm totally ready. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. This is awesome. It was such Thanks an right. honor. Oh my Thank god, you. it looks amazing. Like, such Thank a big you. deal. It's so great working Thank with you. you. Good much. job on your wall. I know, it's yeah. amazing. This We're gonna have a baby. I know. <laughs> is it now sitting in now it's, it's like now it's now real. It's, now yeah, it's weird real. to like a baby. All right. room. Like, we'll all leave right. you to have a baby. Yeah. Okay. Bye, <laughs> guys. Right. It's your turn now. Bye. Yeah. Oh, we'll come to your baby room. <laughs> we got work to do. <laughs> this is awesome. We're so grateful that Kate and Joey helped us with this room. It's Thanks, beautiful. Guys. And now I feel like we're ready to have this baby. Sort of. <laughs> Still Go for terrifying. It. But at least this makes it a little bit easier. It's happening now. Oh my gosh, is it happening now? It's on camera. Push. That's what I'm supposed to say, right? <laughs> I don't know. Ah, that was so fun. That was so fun. Oh my gosh, guys, what a crazy honor to get to do their nursery. It was such a good marriage between their, their styles. two styles. It's peaceful in there. It's very like welcoming. Guys, what did you think? Thumbs up if you liked it. I yeah. think they loved it. I think they loved it. So good. Guys, so special. And baby is around the corner, like going to make his grand debut very soon. So I'm so glad that we got to get that room done just in the nick of time. Huge thanks to Wish for sponsoring today's episode. Yes. Uh, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you're from Colleen's channel. Welcome. Welcome. Weirdos. Hit subscribe, that subscribe button. Join our family. We do lots of fun videos like this. If you guys haven't already, go over and check out her stuff. Obviously, oh she's gosh. amazing. Oh my gosh, yes. And go follow Eric too, so you can keep up with all his acting stuff. We will now leave you, <laughs> but we'll leave you on this note. <gasps> Stay creative, stay weird, stay you. We love you, bye! Bye! Are you gonna do your entire room? Wait, you keep giving me room. pieces that don't match.
Joey! Because this is, you have to use the other pile. Yeah, what's Use science. Doing? This pile down here. Joey, you're mine. so annoying. Science, you need science. No, he knows that I'm oh, bad at math. Yeah. And he, no, but see, but this isn't. It's oh, that's not what you to want. Go to, into a point. Oh, I He's see. He's being a bunghole. 